Welcome everybody. We come to you on Sunday, November 5th, and we have an extra visitor in tow. So we just picked up grandma from the airport and we're stopping by what some have claimed, I don't know if it's official or not, but the largest, if not the largest, one of the largest McDonald's uh, anywhere. So it's off of International Drive here in Orlando and it has two stories and quite an expansive menu. So join us as we enjoy fine dining at McDonald's and then go from there. Across the street is the Walt Disney store, like they used to have in all of our malls that they took away from us. And then the Disco Yeti. Quite large to say the least. They have fish tanks. That the McBoo buckets are back. Are they? Yeah, for the Happy Meals. Nice. Now it makes me want to get a Happy Meal now. It's the bakery. Now the fun of entering seven people's meal selections. You want chocolate milk? This McDonald's also makes pizza and pasta and has their own brick oven for pizza baking. There are the different pizza and pasta options. You don't see any prices though. Should I try pasta? Here are the different meal options of Philly cheesesteak. Choose your own toppings on the pizza. I don't know if I want to try a Philly cheesesteak at McDonald's. Price in, I need I need one. to do it. Toppings, pasta, and sauce. I don't know what it is. <laughs> it's pasta and sauce. Yeah, but what it like. Uh, what kind of pasta? Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, yeah. what kind of sauce? Like, I don't know. Oh. oh. Okay. Ravioli, linguine, tortellini, and cavatappi. Common occurrence of waiting for the elevator at McDonald's. Hi. Is everyone here? Everyone is here? Yep. Touch the button. No, I'm You ever thought we'd think, you ever think you'd be in an elevator at McDonald's? I know. Huh? It's like the Jurassic Park movie. It's Pure madness up on the second floor. Not only is it a full house, but there is a play place, a grimace, a hamburglar, and Wendy. I don't know. What's that girl's name? Leave a message in the comments if you know. Our food's arrived, but now we're doing the standard audit to make sure everything's here. Uh, we're missing an iced coffee and a happy meal. So. They're going back to look for them for us. But that's part of the course, it happens everywhere. This is what we're working with. Mary's pasta, my Philly cheesesteak, and the kids got their standard run-of-the-mill Happy Meals. How do you think it tastes? Okay. You know what? It's not horrible. 
Alright, so I'm gonna try this Philly cheesesteak. It honestly looks horrible. People from Philadelphia would certainly be disgraced by it, but for a McDonald's cheesesteak, I don't think it's that bad. Interesting. Thank you. Never thought I would get this excited over a McDonald's. And it opens up to a large arcade. A play area. Win prizes for the game. Crocodile. Yeah, you don't really see these every day. Hey, I saw you upstairs. Yeah. Um, pop the lock. I uh, there's a YouTuber named Red and TV. He actually played that one. He loves that one. Okay. Oh, just so you know, you should probably subscribe to him. I love his channel. It's a good one. So look and subscribe to him. Oh, somebody put their dinosaur in there. Nice. I think it's Like and subscribe to Brent TV. It's a good channel. Hey, this is not a promotion video. Well, too late. I already pronounced Molly. That's the cake I saw. That looks really good. Hi, little buddy. Oh, that's just He's giving the thumbs up. Have you ever seen so many orange juices before? Well, that's gonna do it for us from McDonald's. I would say I was pleasantly surprised with my Philly cheesesteak, although I don't think it's justified to call it a Philly cheesesteak. I would call it more of a Big Mac in a hoagie bun, but good nonetheless. It quite honestly just tasted like a giant hamburger, but um, cool experience, something that you don't see really anywhere. So. Glad we stopped. Chirping bird alert. I am an expert bird tracker. That is indeed a bird. The next stop on today's agenda brings us to the parking lot of the Swan Reserve in the Epcot Resort area. We're going to play putt-putt today at Fantasia Gardens. So after we just ate at the world's largest McDonald's, we're going to take grandma to her first putt-putt experience at Disney World. What'd you think of the world's largest McDonald's? Perfect. Did your meal taste the same as always? Well, there was a McDonald's there, but no, there was an arcade there, but I wanted to go there, but we didn't. Yeah, we had to make it here before four o'clock. Mm, yeah. Why? Because our tickets are only good until four. Uh. <laughs> There are two courses here at Fantasia Gardens. One is your typical putt-putt miniature golf style, and then your second one is just a shrunk down version of full golf. 
as you can see the green here that these folks are playing on it represents what a normal putting green and approach would look like on a full-size golf course but just shrunk down so that you can use your putter the entire way through always a helicopter we have swans Dolphins, and, a grid and we have children. Ready? This is our second time playing Fantasia Gardens. First time on this trip, but we played here back in 2021, the last time we were here in Florida. We are greeted by Sorcerer Mickey holding a golf club. There is about an hour wait until our, call it a tea time, first come first serve, but it is a beautiful day. It's a Sunday afternoon, and there's quite a few folks uh, in line in front of us. But we did get pixie dusted. So there's seven of us. Um, we had six paid admissions already as part of our ticket package, and they let grandma in um, to play for free. So. It was nice, uh, they didn't have to do that, we offered to pay, but the cast member was was great about it and allowed us to, to go through just as extra magic. So very, very much appreciated. Such a tourist thing to do, but as we wait, I can't help but notice the beautiful skyline of seeing the Hollywood Tower, Tower of Terror in the background over at Hollywood Studios. And then, the Swan Reserve is a beautiful building. We're going to be playing the garden course, but this is one of the holes on the fairway course. As you can see, it looks like a normal golf hole shrunken down to size. Oh no! Who's at the bottom? Oh. Okay. Passing the time. Who's at the bottom? Me! Okay. Put it at the top. Pull it out. Okay. Ah. Let's do that again. This time, this time I'm on the bottom. Okay, then me, Evelyn, and then Austin, me, Emma. Okay, here we go. Who's on the bottom? Me. Okay. Now me. Now We've only waited for about 25 minutes for our tea time and the kids have gone through all three bottles of water. So walking back to the car to get more bottles of water and I'm sure we'll be stopping for a pee break here soon. Just love the scenery around here. <gasps> he couldn't simply just walk back. He insisted on me carrying him. But since I'm also carrying five bottles of water, I get to make the walk back without breathing. Par for the course. And we're off. No. There we go. We had to go in two groups because we had more than six. And now Nolan, Gavin, Austin, and Grandma are well ahead of us. Hear our little buddy waking up. You need to go to sleep again. Hit it up there really hard. Yeah, four. You want? Almost. 
can't do Viva Combo! No! I was you. trying to stop it. You can't get people's golf balls. <laughs> what you just told her. Hit it again. All right. There you Good go. Job. Good job. Is it stuck up there? Yep. How's that happen? That was a merry medley. Now, to finish Emily. off. Always looking for gators. Never see them. Good hit, Emmeline. Oh, so close. How are you guys doing? Good. Mine, Bubba. Yeah, it just disappeared. It went into one of the holes up there. It was like this, guys. So you have to go back and get another one? Yeah. All right. Yeah, his. The Nutcracker Sweet. That does not sound sweet. So. We finally ca caught up with our magic. party after five holes. Nothing. Ah. Wow, how did that happen? I uh, magic. So I want to get it in the mushroom. And it's a gamble if it's stuck. Yeah, you want to get it in the mushroom. Come on, mushroom. I'm watching you. Okay. Oh no. It's up there rolling around. Hey, I <laughs> two for one, Gavin. Gavin. Hey, Gavin. Your ball came out. Oh. Or roll it underhand with your hand. Yeah. Or throw it underhand. Yeah. That works. Grandma doesn't need to throw it. Oh. <laughs> All right, Emily. I saw three balls in the water. This is the same one. The so one if you yellow. get it up, you go put it Good luck hitting that one. <laughs> Play it as it lies. That's the rules. Now 
made it through. Now, for a two. It's the fairways course. That looks epic. Yeah, we're going inside. Bad from that route. Spooky goblin. See, Dad, you're gonna like this, Dad. What's that? Oh, yeah. Do you remember this? I do. It's a very expensive pop. I'm thirsty. Makes heavenly music when you make a putt. Very nice of you. I got a hole in three. Very good. So up there, there's a whole bunch of balls for people overshooting. Oh yeah. Like embedded in the ground. All right, just take your time. You've got it. Oh, bounces it off the foot. There you go, that was a good hit on one. Well, let's see if I can get this in. Why are they so concerned about All right, let's see if we can get it right in the crocodile's mouth. Two. Oh, just short. <laughs> Remember this? Here's a beautiful movie? shot. Twice upon a Christmas in the beginning where Minnie and Daisy are doing their dance. Yeah, and Daisy. Is that your ballet or is that ducking and covering? Show Grandma some of your ballet. Stuff. Show your pizza feet. Yeah. Now go up and down. There you go. Aww. Good job. Do your ballet dance. Do your flamingo. Do your flamingo. Stop. Oh, I don't. Good oh, job. that's awesome! Now do a dance you Wait. learn from ballet. Do your funny dance. <laughs> Hurry, because the ball's got to get no. there. No! No, no, no! Somebody's going to get hurt. Oh okay. Alright, go now. Now! Get it in there! Perfect. Good job. Good job. They say in basketball, you always got to follow your shot. Yeah. Like, Never know when you got to get the rebound. Grandma took the shortcut. Yeah. This hole's got some irrigation issues. I call the superintendent. Do you need elder assistance crossing the no. wet yeah. area? We shall see if anybody gets drenched. Good luck, Austin. Don't get me going. Maybe don't hit your ball. And it'll hit your ball down. I think it might hold the water. Nolan, I think it just does it when it wants to. All right, you two did your ball. Go over there. Austin, same for you. Go. <laughs> All right, trying to get crafty here. Oh, 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 oh. 
Pizza feet. Hey, I did it without your feet. <laughs> Mom's been ball hawking today. Hey. <laughs> balls, balls in there. Well, good thing I have. Good thing you went digging today. Yes. Yeah, yeah. 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 We got little smiles. Like this At least we have. Watch yeah. Emily behind you. It's a live ball. Play it. I would have played it, dude. That would have been a good score. Plan? Need my ninja moves today. Kiss your balls goodbye. Austin, you're the first one today with a two. There you go. I wonder what the reaction is. Make a wish and put it in. Well, wait, is that yours? Mom, is that your ball? Make a wish and put it in the pouch. She didn't want to let it go. And that's going to do it for us here at Fantasia Gardens. We're going to head back toward the house. We need to stop at the supermarket for Grandma to get some supplies for the week. And we might stop off for a roadside attraction or two if we have time. But tomorrow starts the marathon of park days and Emmeline's birthday week. So we'll try to keep tonight as brief as possible. Words of wisdom. If you ever come play Fantasia Gardens, have them affix a parking validation sticker to your parking ticket for the adjacent parking lot. Uh, otherwise it will be a $36 charge. So I had to back up and go back to the counter for them to validate my parking. I don't remember doing that before, but I'll certainly remember that for next time. We've taken a detour. So back in 1990, when we had our family trip, when I was a kid, we stayed here. Mom, what was it at the time, a Holiday Inn? Yes. And now it is the Saralago something. I wonder if we can see the pool from anywhere. Are these the same? I think they're just different but they're parts the same to it. Place. Okay. Hey, Disney's expensive. It's like. <laughs> right? Although, like, if you've got, if you come during the right time, the All Star Resorts aren't that much more expensive than staying somewhere oh, no. like this. Because even this place, they want every bit of like a hundred bucks a night, I would assume, which is a lot of money still, but certainly not the value you're getting staying at Disney. Yeah, I wish we could see the pool area because You guys want to? It's probably one of those places that looks like awesome online with the pictures and everything on their website, but you get here and it's just like bait and switch. I'm out of here. 
tempted to come to Orange World, so they had a fire inside around Bath, which we can go around and see, maybe a year ago or so, but it looks like they've yet to reopen their inside shop. I think that they're selling all of their oranges and produce or fresh fruit and whatnot um, out of the chained in area in the front. They still have food trucks showing up in the parking lot, but that's not necessarily specific to Orange World. So back here, you can see the charred orange. And from the footage I've seen on other people's videos is that it's looked like this for some time. And you can kind of see where holes have been cut and covered with plywood where firefighters were getting into the upper sphere to uh, extinguish the fire. Interesting. And with that, we're done for the day. We've got a long day and a long week ahead of us. However, we're going to do our best to just go with the flow, not try to rush things, not try to do too much. Otherwise, you won't enjoy your time. That's my number one tip for anybody bringing kids to Disney or really anybody coming to Disney in general is you're never going to do everything. You're never going to get everything accomplished. Just make a small checklist of things you want to get done and focus on that and just try not to force it. So we had fun today. Grandma's with us. We ate at the world's biggest McDonald's and played putt-putt at Fantasia Gardens. All in all, a pretty fun day. So with that, we'll see you next time.